Fremantle Council has launched a safety probe after a fatal fall from a hotel balcony. Safety officials today inspected a railing on the balcony of the Sail and Anchor, where 28-year-old Henry Cusack fell to his death. A flag at half-mast and a makeshift memorial for a man who friends say lit up every room. The flowers laid at the Sail and Anchor, where 28-year-old Henry Cusack fell to his death on Saturday night. The finance consultant was on the balcony, sitting on the back of a sofa when he leaned backwards and fell through a plastic blind. Fremantle Council says the venue is inspected annually, but today city officers took measurements and photographs of the balustrading, screens and furniture as part of the investigation, which is ongoing. Even though the building code requires new pubs and clubs to have balcony railings at least one metre high, older venues are subject only to regulations in place when they were built and the heritage-listed Sail and Anchor was established in 1854. Today, the sofa was still sitting right up against the railing. The building code doesn't cover how a building is managed, including the location of movable items such as furniture. Fremantle Council and police are preparing reports for the coroner and the state government says any safety recommendations put forward will be considered. Today, the tributes continued. One from Mr Cusack's employer, Bespoke Finance Group. We have never met a guy with more joy and energy. He brightened every room that he entered and will be sorely missed by all who had the privilege of knowing him. His tight-knit family told us losing him has been their worst nightmare. Renee Henry, Nine News.